and welcome to HISD News. I'm Colleen Allen. This week, HISD rewarded teachers across the district for boosting student achievement during the 2010-2011 school year. As part of the Aspire program, nearly 12,000 HISD teachers and campus staff were awarded a total of $35 million. Deborah Sanchez has more. Now, who can tell me once again what are special features? Raise your hand. Osborne Elementary teacher Chavez Mitchell is known on campus for his ability at keeping students engaged. He is well grounded in content knowledge. He knows uh, just a multitude of instructional strategies that he can use and he tries to meet the needs of all of his kids. Good morning. How you doing? How y'all doing boys and girls? On January 25th, HISD Superintendent Terry Greer stopped by Mitchell's classroom to observe his effective teaching in action and to congratulate him on receiving one of the district's top Aspire Awards. You got the best teacher, right? Yes! yes. The Aspire program recognizes teachers like Mitchell who have dramatically increased student achievement over the past year. The Osborne writing teacher was excited for the superintendent's visit, but admitted he wasn't quite sure what all the fuss was about. I mean, I'm just doing my job, and I do it every day. So I try to do my best because I know setting a firm foundation for them now will lead to, you know, them being successful in the future. I feel the same way. We come to school to teach, and we firmly believe here at Highland Heights, at our school, that all students can learn and all students will learn. Highland Heights teacher Deborah Bunton also got a visit from Superintendent Greer and District 2 trustee Rhonda Skillern-Jones. Uh, both of the teachers we visit today have a, a great teacher disposition. Uh, they know how to relate to their students. Uh, their, their, their classrooms are, are very well managed. The students are polite. Uh, they're respectful. Uh, you, you, you hear a buzz in those classrooms. It's a buzz of learning where kids are talking with each other. It's always great to see good teachers doing great things with kids and, and raising achievement levels and that's really what it's all about and when you find people who are dedicated to doing that it's so good to see them rewarded for that. Next fall HISD will be opening its first ever Chinese language immersion school and now is the time for parents and students to apply to the new magnet school. Applications are currently being accepted for pre-k, kindergarten, first grade and second grade classes. Additional grades will be added in subsequent years. Students at the new Confucius Institute will learn Mandarin Chinese, which is the most spoken language in the world. For more information and to apply, go to HoustonISD.org. HISD high school students recently had a chance to become oil and gas explorers, literally. Sarah Osborne explains. 566, 566, okay, 566, 566. <laughs> They may look a little young to be drilling for oil. Give us 20% to 693. But that's exactly what these HISD Petroleum Academy students are doing. I'm trying not to hit the red because the red is full of gas, and I'm trying to hit the outside, which is the yellow, which is the oil, which is what we want. On January 18th and 19th, more than 150 students from Westside, Milby, and Lamar High Schools gathered to compete at the district's annual Petro Challenge. And then they start out with a, a budget of 200 million, and, and they drill wells offshore, and, and they go through the whole process like any oil company would do. Using a high-tech computer simulation program, students competed against each other in teams of three or four. We're in second place. Hopefully, we win. But there was an added twist. What is interesting is they're not competing as a Westside team or a Lamar team or a Milby High School team. We've mixed the teams up. Also added to the mix this year, students from the Petroleum Academy at Southwest High School in Fort Worth, Texas. It's, it's nice yeah. meeting new people mm -hmm. and um, learning how others work, teamwork. Yeah, so the kids get a chance to work with each other, uh, collaborate on ideas. Um, they're learning a vast amount of knowledge about the oil industry. I'm going to give you 20 for 20. That's not going to work. Yeah. After two days of nail-biting competition, the team with the highest return on investment was declared the winner. But in the end, it wasn't about winning or losing. It's about developing tomorrow's workforce. The purpose, the mission of our petroleum academies is to develop the next generation of energy professionals. 
and these talented students that we have here in this competition are evidence of that. They are going to be the young professionals who drive our industry forward. The new state accountability test known as STAR is just two months away. HISD principals and teachers have been hard at work for the past six months preparing students for the upcoming exam. Students in grades 3 through 8 will begin taking STAR in late March. Ninth graders will begin taking end of course exams in May. Parents who have questions about the new exam can get answers at a STAR forum on February 16th from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. at the Hattie Mae White Educational Support Center. The forum will also be broadcast live on HISD TV. It's time now for the HISD Fast Fact of the Week. Did you know that from 2009 to 2011, the number of advanced placement exams taken by HISD Hispanic students went up 115%? Now that's a remarkable increase. That's it for this week's edition of HISD News. Please be sure to check us out on Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. We leave you with a dance performance by Longfellow Elementary students. Remember, you can check out a fine arts performance by a different HISD school every Friday during lunchtime at the cafeteria located at Hattie Mae White. Until next time, I'm Colleen Allen.